Watch out for those flying white spheres known as foul balls brought to you by Super One Foods. Here in the bottom half of the night, no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base, and that's your ball game. Here's the Kings. The Kings are back again this weekend for a free game series against the Owls of Rice. First game is Friday at 6. If you're not attending the game, tune in to KPL 965 and hear Jay Walker on the call. Or join your friends and team for the official watch party. If you like distributing, want to remind everyone to enjoy it responsibly and have a safe ride home. Y'all hearing me? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can make this work. Can I get them first? Can I get them first? Yeah. Come on, first. Yeah. 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 Then we'll have Devin Fontenot and then uh, Coach Maneri. So um, I'm going to turn up my volume as loud as it can go. Okay, um, you guys can ask questions. We'll give this a shot uh, with Garrett Edwards first. Garrett, it's Dave. From rivals, just talk to me how it felt to get out there and get a win. I'm oh, sorry, Dave. Could you repeat that? Yeah. Garrett, can you hear me? Not really. Like I said, just talk to me about how it felt to go out and get a win. Oh, uh, it felt great. Um, coming into the game, I had a really good feeling about it, and uh, I was I was a little nervous, but uh. After I got that first guy out, after I struck him out, I uh, gave me a lot of confidence to move forward in the game. And I knew it was a big game. It's been so long since uh, we won on the road in state. So I'm glad to be a part of that. And uh, our bats really showed up today. And uh, that was helpful when they put a few runs on the board in the second inning for me. So uh, glad to be a part of it. Let's see, uh, let, me, let me admit. Uh, OK. All right. Derek, uh, can you, can you hear me? Hey, get, go ahead. Go ahead, Wilson. 
Okay, uh, if you could take us through that third inning, um, I mean, you know, you know, you all put some runners in scoring position, hit that homer, and you were able to get out of it. What did you do to get out of that inning so well? Um, I'm really confident when I'm in my windup. So uh, when those runner on, when I saw those runner on second and third with uh, two outs and first base was open, we went into the four spot, which is an inside fastball, and I just told myself not to leave it over the plate, and it ran in on the guy and I hit him and. Uh, I was really eager to face their four hole again after he got a base hit off of me in the uh, for, or in the second inning. I was a little aggravated about that, so uh, I was really amped up about it, and uh, I had a lot of confidence going into it. I felt like I made some good pitches against that guy to get the K in the end of the inning. It's not going to really show up in the box score because it's you know eleven to two, but like at the time, how big did that feel to escape a jam? Oh, that was really big. I think that was a big turning point in the game for sure because. Uh, Bases loaded. They had a lot of energy going into it, and uh, that punch out kind of drained them a little bit. I'd say. At the, at the same time, I mean, in, they're in the I guess the eighth. You know, it's six one, and Devin comes in, and he you know gets ends up has that incredible play where he catches the ball, throws out the runner at first. What did that do for y'all in the dugout? All of a sudden, that threat's kind of over. It's kind of like in the third inning. It's a big momentum shifter again, and. Uh, that was a good play by Devin. That ball was hit really hard. And I thought off the bat that that was going to be up the middle and they would have possibly scored two runs. So uh, that was a big play by Devin to come in. And uh, bases loaded, tough situation. And uh, that's why he's a veteran. He got in and got the job done. Anyone else for Garrett? OK. All right, thanks, Garrett. Thank you. All right. We'll grab uh, Devin next. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just sent Fondo to go. Oh, pick okay. Up stuff. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna. We're gonna exit right here. We're gonna yeah, walk down a little bit. You want me to grab a meal for you, put on a seat, please? And, yeah. and uh, Fondo's got to do a quick interview. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Do we know where Fontenot is? Yeah, he's right here. Yeah. 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 yeah, the reception's yeah. a little bit. All right, guys, we'll bring up uh, Devin next. Okay, let's see. Let's see something. Shock. I'm just, I'm just admitting a few more people here. Okay, I think we got everybody in. Okay, one more, let's get uh, channel 33. Okay, we'll go ahead with uh, Devin, questions for Devin Fontenot. What's up, guys? Devin, it's David. From De Devin, it's David from Rivals. Walk me through the double play. Was it just kind of like a reflex kind of thing? You know, just walk yeah. me through what went through your head. Yeah, obviously that ball was scorched at me. You know, just a good catch and uh, instinct uh, to turn the double play right there. And it was a good thing. It was a big. It was a big situation. You know, I didn't uh, let the pressure get to me and turn the double play. And then it was just much easier to get that last out once I got those first two. Did you feel like you kind of just took the complete momentum of the game with the double play? Oh, definitely. Um, I think it definitely got the momentum back on our side because they, you know, they for there for a second, they were thinking they had a chance on us, you know, and so I had to come in and, and uh, you know, pick up my teammate Brady and, and figure out a way to get that momentum back for our team, for our hitters. And obviously it showed in that ninth inning we put up five. We didn't quit. Long before all of that, you guys got two freshman pitchers go on the road and Will Helmers and Garrett Edwards and pitch really well for five innings. What was it like watching them tonight? Oh, yeah. Um, Garrett, you know, we definitely have a lot of confidence in Garrett uh, starting our games uh, in the midweeks. And uh, Garrett showed that he can do it, man. Uh, I told him to treat this as if it was the biggest game of his life, biggest high school game he ever, he ever pitched in. You know, he's from Louisiana, so I know he wants to beat these guys just as bad as we do. And then uh, with Will, man, we were, we were glad to see Will get out there and uh, get some confidence back in him. And, um, and we, were, we were right behind him the whole way.
Okay, anyone else for Devin? It, uh, yeah, I'll ask one more. Okay. Um, in being, you know, 11 to 2, but for a while there was much closer. Uh, how game, close did this game feel, you know, for the majority of it? Say that again? How close did this game feel for the majority of it, even though it ended up being 11 to 2? You know, it didn't really feel that close to me watching down from the bullpen. Uh, we started off good, man. We were capitalizing on all their mistakes. Uh, we were playing great baseball, um, you know, making, making, uh, making their pitchers work. And so I really thought we had the momentum for the majority of that game until that one inning. Uh, and then they tried taking it from us. But we, you know, we just came back and made pitches, got some good outs, and, and then came back in the ninth and scored some more runs. Let's see, Glenn, I don't think we're – Glenn, are you asking a question? Okay. I think, don't think we can hear Glenn if, you, if he's trying to talk. Oh, yeah, Glenn, you're muted. Okay. All right. So are we good on Devin? So my signal's getting weak. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and start. Go with Coach Monero. Thank you, Devin. All right. Thank Thanks, you. buddy. All right. I hope y'all. Let's see. All right. Looks like the connection's a little better right here. Hey, Brandon. I'll see you, buddy. Okay. All right. We'll uh, start with uh, questions for Coach Monero. Can y'all hear me? Okay, we got Coach Monero. Uh, I'll hold it. Um, let's see. If you guys can hear me, we got Coach Maneri right here. If you are someone far away, anybody there? Looks like Wilson hung up. Hmm. Anybody there? Wilson's uh, he's there, but he's muted. He's got a signal. Can y'all hear okay? Shoot. Can you, can you darn it. You walk around, try to yeah, find a see. signal somewhere. I was kind of, when I was out here. Let me know if anyone hears me. <laughs> about now? Anyone out there? <laughs> Shoot. Man, we, 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 we were doing pretty well. Really? Yeah. It's weird. David, Wilson, Ashley. Darn it. No? Let me call. Uh, let me call Ashley and see. Wilson just unmuted himself. Wilson, are you there? Good morning. Okay. Mike. All right. Wrong. Yeah. It says I got a signal. You can tell them if they want to call me on my phone. Yeah. Okay. You know. Okay. All right. Hey, y'all. Uh, looks like for some reason nothing's happening. But uh, if you want to call Coach Maneri by phone, he can he can try to answer your questions um, on his phone. I apologize. Just tell him to give me ten minutes to get on. Yeah, the bus. he should be available to get on the bus in about ten minutes. I apologize. I'm not sure why we, we're not working. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Shoot. Hey, 
Hey, y'all can't hear me at all? Shoot, I, it says I have a signal. All right, there's no sound. God darn it. Because it worked for the players and it didn't stop working for Maneri. Okay, well, Maneri said, Maneri said that they could call him on his cell phone. Uh, it's not going to help the TV people, but. Okay. Um, like, Maneri would have to call on a different phone on his phone. Oh, he's, yeah, but he's getting, he's getting on the bus. They, they, they want to, they're, they're leaving. So, yeah. Yeah, he just said, he'll just have to take, he said, Green, I'll, I'll just tell the media they can call, call Paul himself. They can just call Paul's cell phone and talk to him. I think hear you now, Bill. I hear you, Bill. Oh, oh now y'all hear me. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yes. yes, now we can hear you. Well, let me go see if I can track Paul down real quick. <laughs> are y'all still hearing oh. me? Well, Bill, I think it's because because of how far you are away from Wi-Fi and stuff, it's starting to break up. Yeah. Hey, Brennan. Hey, Bill, man. Bill, good, good to see you, man. Good Great to see job you. tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. are doing really well. Yeah, let us know you're back. Buddy. <laughs> okay. Um, um, so it sounded pretty good on the field, I mean, with uh, the players, and I lost it with the – are y'all still hearing me? Yep. I lost it. Okay. Yeah, we still got you. All right, let me see if I can get Paul before he gets <laughs> – yeah, it must be stronger out here. Let's see. All right, y'all still hearing me? Yep. Yes, still got you. there? Okay. All right. Go ahead, to him. Almost to him. You will send out the box for whoever needs it. You can Paul. I'll send it to Paul. you. This is Paul. amazing. Yeah, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, yeah, I got it out here for some oh, reason. Okay, good. All right, guys, here we go. This is the way we do press conferences yeah. now. Yeah. I'm a Zoom master now. Okay. Coach, double digit hits for the second game in a row. Just talk about your offensive explosion these last two games. Oh, I thought the guys really swung the bats great all night. Um, you know, give, giving us that early lead really was great for Garrett Edwards. I think Garrett Edwards, Will Helmers, did I lose y'all? You there? No, but Paul, Paul, we really only have your your hat in frame. Oh, you, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I got you. There you go. Or, or give it to Coach and he can spin it. I don't know how you want to do it. There we go. How's that? Uh, I'll, just, I'll stand on my tippy toes. Now, is Bill, is Bill holding the computer? Yeah, he's yeah. got it. Yeah, we're good Bill, now. Take, Bill, take one step back. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Is there that better? Go. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, guys. So, anyway, you know, for me, the story of the game was the two freshman pitchers. Uh, Garrett Edwards got us off to a great start, and then Will Helmers got him back on the mound, and he looked fantastic. But giving, him, giving both those guys that early lead was really a wonderful thing, and it allowed them to just go out there and challenge the hitters. And, uh, you know, we got off to a great start. And then as time the game went on, you know, we just started having really good at bats. Um, you know, I just can't get Brody Dross home run out of my mind. That was like a rocket shooting out of the, you know, shooting out of the ballpark. Uh, but it, that wasn't the only big swing. We had a lot of big swings, a lot of good at bats. It was another total team effort. Just really proud of the guys. All the guys came in out of the bullpen and did a great job. Even though Alex Brady uh, got in a jam there in his second uh, in the, well, I guess he pitched two in a, uh, let's see, he pitched yeah, third. It was in his third inning, right, but it right. was, I don't know exactly how many innings it officially counted. But even though he got in a jam there, I thought he got some big outs. And then, of course, we were very fortunate when Fontenot, Gave up the line drive, but he made a tremendous play, doubled the runner off first base. The game was really still in balance at that point. And then when we got the five runs in the top of the ninth inning, there's no need to send Fonteno back out there. It was a great situation for Theo Millis, and I th think he threw the ball great too. So really just a total team effort by everybody. It was fun to win a game on the road against a really good team. Listen, this team just beat Tulane two out of three on the road this weekend. They beat Louisiana Tech last night, shut them out. They're, that's a team that's playing with a lot of confidence, and, and they're a good ball club. And the arms we faced tonight were really legitimate arms. So I, I'm starting to feel better and better about our team every day. Hey, Coach. You know, answer, David. Sorry. <laughs>
you mentioned Brody Dross uh, came up with some with some big hits now and really two kind of you know pinch hit at bats. I mean, just is there any? I mean, just what's the I guess the feeling like in trying to maybe get him some more spot at bats <laughs> moving forward. Well, Glenn, you know, I'm going to kind of enjoy this win for uh, for five more minutes, and then I got an hour drive home from Lafayette. It's going that's a kid that's going to be hard to keep out of the lineup. I'm I'm going to admit you that right now. He's he's something special when he swings that bat. Um, so we'll we'll, we'll 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 play with some ideas. I thought Mitchell Sanford did a good job again for us. I thought Drew Bianco made a tremendous catch here in the ninth inning. I'm not sure if anybody else on our team catches that with Gio out other than Bianco. Maybe Will Safford would have caught it. I don't know if Mitchell would have gotten to it. So that was a nice catch. You know, again, Cranford went in to play third base in the ninth inning after the pinch hitting. And Travinsky hit a ball hard again. I mean, it's just everybody's doing a good job and feel really good about the direction we're heading. Paul, as much uh, trouble as your counterpart had tonight with, on, on defense, you had to be really happy with the way your kids play defense all night. Yeah, you know, for the most part, you know, it would have been nice if Jordan Thompson would have held on to that ball. He, he made a nice stop, and then the ball just kind of dropped out of his glove. You know, if he jumps to his feet and throws that guy out, I'm not sure if Alex Brady doesn't just cruise through the inning for us. But, you know, it's hard, it's hard to be picky. You know, we, we, we're playing well, and, and um, you, know, they're, you know, they made a couple errors tonight. That, that aided us and you know we want to be on that side of it we don't want to make errors that help the other team but overall you know I thought we we played a good solid game in every facet and you know can't can't ask for much more than that out of the boys thanks coach good uh, good effort out there Bill right, okay oh, thank you okay guys all right thanks, thanks Paul. Bill. all right see you then all right thank you all